and I'd started um, manipulating men and I started um, using what I knew that I could use and that was my body and um, I began dancing on different stages and that's when the Lord spoke to me and he said Kelly absolutely not you are a virgin you are pure and you are holy and you, you that you might see him as the virgin but I see you as the virgin I came from a very broken home um, my father was abusive. My mother um, was a drug addict. Uh, she was um, su had suicidal tendencies. Um, I just didn't know what love was because I never saw it, and um, so I didn't understand what that what Jesus, who He really was. Like I believe, like I believed in Him, but I didn't know. I didn't know who He was. I would talk to Him and <laughs> and sing to Him and. Um, I would always go to him when I was broken, when I was hurting. Um, I was sexually molested when I was a little girl, and um, and that broke me even more than I was already broken. So when I was 15 years old, I sought love in in everything other than the Lord. I sought love in men. I sought love in alcohol. And my friends invited me to a youth group, and that's where I um, that's where I met people who. I wanted to be friends with. <laughs> Girls would come up and they, hi, who are you? What's your name? Who are you? And it was just so sweet to just be accepted as a family. They they would do skits. They would do acting skits and they would um, they would get up and talk to each other. Everybody was just talking to each other. And um, I gave my life to the Lord. I said, Jesus, I, I want you. I, I, I want you. I need you. I just want to be loved. I met a boy. And um, he captured my heart the moment I met him, and because he was so pure, I never before met a man who was um, who didn't want me for my body, honestly. And we <clears throat> we dated for about a year, and then we went on a missions trip f to Honduras. It was my first missions trip, and we went there. And when we came back, I was on this super spiritual high. I was like, oh my God, I just I just laid hands on the sick. I just prayed with people. I am, I am a su superwoman in the Lord. And it, there is no way that I'm coming down from this spiritual high. And um, so we ended up, we ended up hanging out alone. We started hanging out alone, him and I. And um, we fell. That's when everything in our relationship changed as well. He started becoming very jealous, very controlling. Someone told him that he thought I was pretty and he came home to me that night and he hit me in the face. And that is the first time he ever punched me and then it never stopped. For eight years he physically abused me and uh, changed. I changed everything about myself for him. I literally took the Lord off of his throne and I put a man on it and I changed everything for him. I love singing. I absolutely adore singing. I love worshiping with everything that I am. And I stopped singing for him because it, it um, brought attention to me. I stopped dressing. I, I could stop dressing in any, in any way, no tank tops, no shorts, anything that would cause um, men to look at me or any attention to me at all. So finally, after eight years of being with him, he left me for one of my friends. He left me for another girl. And that is when I completely broke. I was, I'd left everything for him. I'd made him my God. And now I had, I had nothing. I, I, I tried to kill myself because I, I finally, I was at a point where I didn't even want to be alive anymore. And um, when that didn't happen, <laughs> I went even further into the life of drugs and alcohol. I turned to prostitution and I'd started um, manipulating men and I started um, using what I knew that I could use and that was my body. And um, I began dancing on different stages and um, I began selling myself <laughs> for everything, for, for money, for drugs, for, for drinks, for anything that I could I could get out of anyone. I was dancing on a stage in Miami. That's when the Lord showed up. <laughs> he showed up to me in, in my running and it, he said to me, he said, Kelly, who are you? I, I heard him, I heard him. He said, Kelly, who are you? 
He said, this is not who you are. Kelly, this is not the life I have for you. This is not you. You are mine. I called someone and I asked them to take me to a hotel room. And I went to the hotel room and I looked at myself in the mirror. I remember standing in front of the mirror and I had bruises all over my entire body because of um, the parting that I'd been, I'd been doing. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I couldn't even recognize myself anymore. I wept before the Lord for five hours. It was five hours and I just, I just kept weeping and just kept crying and just pain that was pain that was in there from when I was a little girl was coming out of me and it just wouldn't stop and um, and I felt the Lord the presence of the Lord that night so strongly so strong I just felt him like this is the first time I really 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 felt the presence of the Lord and it was so tangible and he was it was like he was all around me just covering me and I just w wept in his arms and for, and asked for forgiveness for everything I had done. And um, he made me new that night. Like really, he made me new. And I felt like I needed to go to church. And to be honest with you, I was terrified. I was so afraid to go to church because like the woman, the prostitute, the prostitute with the, the men that were about to stone her, I was, I was sure that that was gonna happen to me because everyone knew the life I had been living. Everyone knew, my. they saw my Facebook posts, they saw my pictures, they saw, they saw me, they saw my life. And honestly, I was afraid that I was gonna be shunned. I walked in terrified and I left accepted and I left with friends and I left with, with love. And I'm honestly, I'm sitting here today because of the love that the church showed me. I have forgiven every one of my abusers. The one who molested me when I was a child, I have forgiven by the grace of God. And um, my ex-husband, <laughs> I have forgiven. So when I gave my life to the Lord, I knew life meant, I, I ended up knowing just being full of life and I wanted this so desperately for my mom and for my dad and for my brothers and I am um I began to pray and pray and pray and I never stopped praying and I prayed and I fasted for them and um since then <laughs> my family has given their lives to the Lord my younger brother actually found the Lord in jail and <laughs> he called me he called me when he got out and he said Kelly I gave my life to Jesus. <laughs> and I was like, I knew that would happen. Of course you did. I had been involved in prostitution. And because of that, with that comes um, the feeling of being dirty, the feeling of being used, the feeling of being um, not good enough or not worthy of love. And um, when I met the man that I married, um, I found out that he was, <laughs> that he was a virgin. And he was t he's 24 years old, and I found out that he was a virgin and that he'd actually never even really kissed a girl before. And so when I met him, I was like, oh my God, what? Who am I to have, like, who am I to have someone like that? Who am I to, to, to be standing, even standing next to someone so pure and so, so holy? And that's when the Lord spoke to me and he said, Kelly, absolutely not, you are a virgin you are pure and you are holy and you, you that you might see him as the virgin but i see you as the virgin he sings in a christian crossover band called mending wall and um it's a band that's used to point to the lord to bring glory to the lord and um him and i lead worship together at our church which i never thought that i would ever do because when i was married before i wasn't allowed to sing i have truly found freedom and joy and hope and love and peace and life. How great the love of Jesus Christ Upon the cross of shed that pardons me no longer bound no more defeat how great the love